please join me in a huge round of applause for all the students who worked on this cabinet. If you worked on this cabinet, whether you were in STEM, IT, or design, will you please step forward so everyone can appreciate you? Come on down. I'd like to tell you a little bit about this project. This project was an interdisciplinary, ambitious endeavor as a uh, collaborative approach between the IT classes, the STEM classes, and the design classes. I had the design classes. Coach Fortel right here had the IT team, which made the computer that's actually in this thing. Coach Witt had the team that actually made the physical box, and then my team made it look pretty. <laughs> my team also made an original video game called Dante's Dash, which is currently installed on this machine. I'm going to turn the volume up for you right now. Whoa. I don't want to waste your time by telling you a whole big long speech about this machine. I think stuff like this should speak for itself, but I do want to tell you the reason that we did this is we want you students to see what you're capable of when you put your mind to something. These students worked on this for how long? Months. Nine weeks they worked on this project. Class time almost exclusively. And they made something incredible. So without further ado, I'd like to reveal to you, made by BHS students for BHS students, the hot spot. We have a uh, special guest with us in the crowd, Mr. Smith. Where are you? We are going to give the first ever gameplay by somebody who didn't work on this cabinet to Mr. Smith. <laughs> Mr. Smith, whenever you're ready. The Dante's Dash. The premise of the game is that you play as Dante, the mascot, and you have to, you've uh, forgotten your notes, and it's the night before the AC team, so you have to run around the school and try and collect the notes that you found before the assistant principals find you, and he just got caught by himself. <laughs> that's you! That's Mr. Smith! <laughs> Keep going! Run, run, run! If he loses sight of you, he'll stop chasing you. There you go. That's better. Yeah. So there are six notes that are stored around the school, and you got to pick them all up. Mr. Smith! Mr. Smith! Mr. Smith! Mr. Smith! Now there's one in the auditorium, too. There is one, there's one in my room. Uh, I gotta go all the way to the same hallway. Yeah. You're going up past the weight room right there. So yeah, you gotta go back to the hall right now. Is there one in the library? Yes, yes, there is one in the library. Library. Mm -hmm. Cafeteria. That's three! Oh. <laughs> So I'm here with Mr. Smith. He just played our new arcade game in Blackman High School. How do you feel about it? That was fantastic. That was one of the most fun things that I've done uh, all day for sure. Yes. But what I think will happen is late in the evenings, I will probably come back to yeah. school and practice. <laughs> but nobody's you gotta watching. Practice. No, i got to uh, practice. Gotta so practice. what would you say is like the funnest part about playing that arcade game? Well, I think it's super cool to see something that our kids built. Yeah. Right? Like, that's fantastic for right. there to be a little bit of hype about something and for our students to realize, hey, I had a piece of that. That's what's most fun. Right. I'm here with Mr. McClish, the top teacher uh, who actually organized this. We right. made that. We made it just in Photoshop. We made an arcade cabinet. Yeah. You guys enjoyed that so much that, you know, and you did such a good job. I was showing it off to other people, and I was showing it off to Coach Witt right there. You can see him there. Oh, yeah. 
I was showing him the uh, the arcade cabinets that you guys had made on Photoshop, and he said, we could build that. And I didn't really think about it, but later it hit me. That's a great idea. We should do that. We're already using the materials for instructional purposes. Why not make something real? Why not show you guys what you're capable of if you have the opportunity to really build something? So now, full working game on the arcade system that is created by students. How did you get that together? Well, I was very, very lucky. In uh, one of my design classes, I had a student, Alyssa Quijano, and she actually happened to already have experience with some wow. game design and some programming. So that was super lucky. lucky. Yeah. yeah. And she um, she recruited one of her friends, Daniel DeHart, another student who has a lot of gaming experience. He's actually made around 50 games. He's been working on it since he was in second grade. Yeah. Oh, some simple, some complicated, but yeah. he has a lot of experience. And they pulled it together. So... They're really the, the lifeblood of the game itself. They're the ones who actually made the game yeah. and made it working. And they were working so hard literally two hours ago, wow. well, two hours before this release, we got the final working version of this game. Jeez. Possibilities. It'll depend on uh, how administration feels about it. You know, of course, we want to follow their leadership and what they decide is best for the school. But I would love to make more arcade cabinets. Um, because of this project, we started a video game development club at school. We think that's very valuable yeah. because video games are a huge industry in the world. They're the biggest entertainment industry in the world. Right. So we think that's worth for students to be pursuing in their education. Um, and so whatever games that we make in school by students, we're going to put it on that cabinet. And if we end up making any more cabinets, we'll put those games on them as well. All righty. Well, thank you for uh, interviewing. We built the cabinet. Wow. So how, how, how do you build an arcade cabinet? Like, do, do you guys have experience with it? Oh, uh, no. This is the first one. <laughs> so so yeah. first time building an arcade cabinet, you guys hear a digital arts teacher say, hey, we can design a game, and you guys just build an arcade cabinet. Yeah, pretty much. So what was the hardest thing about building that cabinet? Uh, making sure everything lined up. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it. How do you feel about it? Pretty good. It For the first looks one? good. Yeah. yeah, it looks good. Yeah. All right, so do you guys think you guys can do this again? Like, oh, yeah, easy sure. now. Easy yeah, now? We, yeah, we can do it easily. I don't know about all the coding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right.